Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Yeah, I wonder if it's such a bad view today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? We gotta do it first. We're waiting for the guys. It's my house. The nostalgia say I'm two centimeters short. What do they find us here? For each campaign, a lot of people in the wreck are killed. How could this happen? We've been in the wreck all our lives, and now we're freaks? Ugh. This happens all the time. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is spitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Good. Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't go this way. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There is a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants, for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Bolshoi. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They are immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poop souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests the well-fed. But my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art. For thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But, sadly, true art is twenty years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Ah, so there are still men. Not just marionettes. I disgust myself. Here we sit, with drinks, and party lights, when all around us radiation, what? death, and There is a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeon. Is yeah, it something you know? show something we know! Is it mushrooms with mushroom sauce? When do we become mutant father? Have you got enough money to last a week? A week? Two days, maybe. Then my life is over. And it took so long to save up. Oh, well. Good riddance. At least I have Well, good luck. Day. You're always welcome here. You give up already? Shit. Fish! Fresh fish from Venice. Fish, smoke, fries. This is great stuff. The best you can find. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just well, get the Well, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the tier. Anything goes. But hey, I won't twist your arm. Just don't come back in ten minutes when you change your mind. Show me your tickets. I gotta think. Think faster. Look, there's another tourist there. If you don't buy this, he's shooting. 
Did you hear oh. that? <laughs> sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. If you'd be so kind, the can can. You patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorvich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Helen, no, Sto, I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Jana, let me use your powder. Once again. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? No, he's reliable and doesn't listen. Artyom! Artyom! Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes, yes, it's a hard life without a soft woman, I know. Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are, two of our specials from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So, let's drink, Artyom. Хорошо прошла. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but yeah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Wow, so... <clears throat> yes? Our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other, sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Order, order is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blin. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Move it! Hey, stop that, bleh! It's just being over-enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, 
Look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Here? What about Comrade Korman? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, it's you. You're a smart guy, so you understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. We need information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, Artur. Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence! He's Nitsky. You're one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the evil doctor in probing and cutting the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. But, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Korbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunium must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> Nothing, huh? Okay, okay, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonia. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug. God damn it! Alright. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastards! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son! Oh. I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything.
I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents! Fagan, sit down, Corbett. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans! The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover, so I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the Politburo. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Question? Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesniski bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One which makes him my current target.